today's tutorial, we're going to go over a volumetric effect. And this is an effect that you might use for a block of ice or some other object that you can see into but not through. So this volumetric effect is going to imitate the appearance of objects inside other objects. This, is a, this video is a good illustration of that. Uh, what you can see here is a block of ice that I made by filling a cooler with water and leaving it in the fridge for a couple of days. And if we take a look at this object, you can see that it has all kinds of details on the surface, but there are also details inside the volume. So we're gonna create a shader today that imitates this effect. Okay, so here we are in Unreal's Material Editor, and you can see that I've got a texture here with the texture coordinates wired into it, and the texture is being used for the base color. There's nothing special about this texture, really. It's just one that ships with Unreal, and it's called T Perlin Noise M, and it looks like this. So it's just a bunch of noise, and I just have it wired into the base color currently. But what we want to do is we want to have this noise move around as if it were under the surface instead of stuck to the surface. So right now, it's just applied directly to the surface with UV coordinates, but we want it to move as your eye's relationship with the surface moves. So let's take a look at another video to show us how to do that. In this illustration, you can see our surface here, and here this red vector represents the normal of the surface, and this green vector represents the camera. And right now, this is what we have on our model. Our camera's moving at all, but our surface isn't responding to that movement. What we really want is something like this, where as our camera vector moves around, the texture underneath the surface moves around with it. So it looks like that there's some kind of volume. So we need to figure out how to get this texture that's currently applied to our surface to push into the surface and move relative to the movement of the camera vector. There is a vector that's sort of like this that does what we want, and it's called the reflection vector. Here it is. Now if I pause the video, you can see that the reflection vector is a mirror image of my incoming vector. So here's my incoming vector and if I do a reflection math instruction on my camera vector here, my result is a reflection vector. This is sort of what we want, but it's above the surface instead of below the surface. And so what we need to do is take that reflection vector and invert it. And that will give us this purple one here, which is called a transmission vector. Then we can use that to add to our UV coordinates and get UVs that slide under the surface as our camera vector moves. So let's jump back into Unreal and take a look at how we can code that up. All right, here's our texture and our texture coordinates just pass directly into base color. And if I move over here to the side, I've already brought in my camera vector and I'm transforming it from world space to tangent space. We're gonna do this effect in tangent space. And here I have my tangent space normal, which is just 0, 0, 1, which is uh, just flat on the surface. And then I'm using this node called custom reflection vector, and I'm passing my surface normal and my camera vector both into the reflection vector. Then I'm taking the R and G, or the X and Y components of that, and I can add these to my texture coordinates. So I'm just gonna move this set of nodes over and we're gonna stick it right here, and I'm gonna wire it up so that I'm adding my texture coordinate to here, and then passing that in as the UVs of my noise texture. And let's take a look at what we get. So as I tumble this cube around, you can see that now the texture is no longer stuck to the surface. It looks almost as if the cube is a piece of glass that I'm looking through, kind of like a magnifying glass and the texture is an object that I'm looking at that's behind the glass. This is sort of the effect that I'm going for, but right now it's just way too strong. What I want it to feel like is that the texture is inside and underneath the surface, 
But right now it just looks like the texture is way behind the surface and the offset that's happening is, is just significantly too strong. So I need to add in a couple of controls that we can use to tone down this effect. So I'm gonna come down here to, um, to a couple of nodes that I've already put together. And I'm gonna grab this guy. Now this is going to take the Z component of my reflection vector, and then it's gonna do an absolute value of it so that if it's negative, it'll become positive. And then it's gonna take that and do a 100 divided by that value. Now this 100 value here is gonna control how much depth I want to use. So I'm just gonna change this, before I do anything, I'm just gonna change this to one. And that will basically give us um, uh, no offset. So here I'm gonna wire my, uh, my mask RG into here. And that's gonna be multiplied by my Z uh, over one. And then I'm gonna come down here and grab this other piece. And this allows me to control the amount of offset that's happening based on the resolution of the texture. So this 512 here represents the resolution of the texture that I'm using. So I'm gonna wire my multiply into this. And then I'm gonna wire the result of this into my add for the texture coordinates. So let's go over this again. We're taking the camera vector, transforming it to tangent space, and then reflecting it using the normal. I'm just gonna move these over just a little bit so things are a little bit less crowded. Then I'm taking the X, Y of that and adding it to the texture coordinates. But before I do, I'm multiplying it by the absolute value of the Z component of my reflection vector. And I have a value here that allows me to control how much offset I want. And then I'm also multiplying it by one over the resolution of my texture map. Okay, so you can see that right now there's really no offset happening. But if I take this value here and I turn it up to 100, now we're gonna see that it looks like my texture is below the surface. And as I rotate my object around, that noise texture that's happening is underneath or inside the cube instead of right on the surface. It's a pretty neat effect. I really like how this is turning out. So let's add another thing to this. Right now our surface is perfectly smooth and polished. And one of the things that we noticed in the, the ice video that we took a look at at the beginning is that the ice is not perfectly smooth. There's all kinds of blemishes. So I have a normal map here and I'm gonna pull this normal map down. And instead of using this surface normal of 001, which is perfectly smooth, I'm gonna substitute my normal map and just plug that in as my normal. Let's see what happens. All right, so let's move our cube around a little bit and you can see, well first, uh, let's take a look at what this normal map looks like. It's called T Metal Gold N. And this is just a, a random noisy normal map that came with Unreal. So I'm gonna switch over here and you can see in this normal map, it's mostly smooth, but there are all these little pock marks and blemishes. And that's kind of what I'm going for. So if we switch back to our shader and I move around, you can see now that it looks like the surface of my cube is kind of pocked and blemished and, and you're seeing through that rough and uneven surface into the noisy material that's on the inside. It's a pretty cool looking effect. There is one other thing that I can do though. Right now, the offset that's happening for my noise texture is completely uniform. So I'm using this value of 100 and my texture is offset uniformly at every pixel. Well, what if I wanna offset some pixels more than others? Well, I can use a texture to define my offset instead of just this uniform value of 100. So I'm gonna come down here and grab this texture that I have. 
And this is the same noise texture that I'm using over here for the for the ice. But what I can do is instead of using this value of 100, I can take that and multiply it by, so I have a value of 50 here. I'm multiplying this by 50. And then I'm gonna pass this into my offset value instead of my uniform value of 100. Let's take a look at what we get. Okay, so now this is looking pretty cool. So I've got every pixel being offset uh, a little bit differently than the pixels around it. And so it looks like there's this really interesting, uneven surface pattern. And it looks like there's volume there, but the volume has lots of different depths, uh, not just one single depth. It's a pretty cool effect. All right, so this is where we're gonna stop. But if you were to take this shader and move a little bit further with it, you could create some really nice uh, reflections on the surface. You could create some uh, some better textures. I'm just using a random noise texture, but you could create a texture that looked a little bit more like ice. Uh, you could create some nice specular highlights and such. Um, but this is the core of the effect that creates this appearance that the surface has volume instead of just having uh, textures attached directly onto the surface. This effect is similar to the offset effect that we looked at a couple of episodes ago, except for the fact that it's offsetting into the surface instead of out of the surface. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.